So you will need to get a note annotation app in order to use your planner. Um, good notes is always a good choice if you have an iPad, that's what I use. Um, also there is Notability, which is pretty popular. You can use this on the Android apps. Um, there are some other ones to choose from. You have Note Shelf, so do Samsung Notes. When you are importing your planner, you will get this PDF that will have little buttons that you can click on. So you'll want to click on the 2023 Digital Planners. For GoodNotes users, the top ones are for you. So this is going to go directly into GoodNotes. It's going to take you to Dropbox where you'll begin your download process. So you'll just click on the download button and it will download to wherever your downloads go. And then after that, it's quite simple. So you want to find your app. I'm going to go into GoodNotes. It's going to take me directly there. And you're going to import this as a new document. There are apps you'll want to click on the bottom ones. Those are just the PDF ones. You will go and you will download it just the same. This time you'll be able to see the preview because it's not a GoodNotes doc. You'll download it. It'll go directly to wherever your downloads go. And here you're going to share it into the app of choice. I'm going to go ahead and put it back into GoodNotes, but there are other options. And again, you import it as a new document. If you're using um, Notability, when you click on the share, it'll just say create new note. And then once you do that, it will take you um, to a bit where you can save it. And then you can go into your Notability app and you'll be able to see it there. When it's time to start importing your stickers, you'll end up going back into your dashboard. We're gonna start with our elements in GoodNotes. So you wanna go ahead and click on the GoodNotes element, which again will take you to your Dropbox. Um, once you're in Dropbox, you can see that you have um, your emojis, your feminine stickers, your weather stickers, as well as your everyday good notes stickers. So you go ahead and you'll download that. So this is just showing you where your stickers are, wherever you've downloaded it. But to get them into your elements, you're actually going to want to go back into good notes. You're going to want to click on your elements tab and you're going to want to scroll over to the plus sign so you can add it. And then once you're there, you want to say import from find your elements pack, click on it and it will start the importing process and you can create it and you have your elements and you'll do that with each one that you want into your good notes. For all other apps, you're going to want to download the individual digital um, stickers. So you'll go back to your dashboard. Again, it's going to take you to Dropbox where you will download the stickers. Um, once you download them, the best way to do this is when you go into your app of choice, you're going to want to split screen and you can just drag and drop into um, your app. So this is just me using GoodNotes, um, but it's the same in the other apps. Here is Notability. Again, I'm just using the split screen. I'm picking the stickers that I want to use. I drag it. When you tap on it, you'll get the option to just move it around wherever you would like, and you can also resize it. Whenever you want to do any editing to whichever app you're in, you're going to want to make sure you are in edit mode and not reading mode. So in GoodNotes, you'll see at the top, you'll have to click on this little pin. Now that I am in editing mode, I can use my different tools to write in whatever I would like. When you want to use the hyperlinks, you want to do that in reading mode and you tap on it and it takes you through all your different hyperlinks. You can also use the lasso tool and if you hold down while using the lasso tool, it'll give you the option to open up the link. 
So when you want to change your cover, again, in your dashboard, you'll want to go back to it and click where it says cover. It's going to take you back to Dropbox to download. You get a PDF and you get the individual PNGs. So you'll see those there. But with the PDF, you're going to want to go ahead and download it. I'm going to open this one up into GoodNotes. And it's the same for all the other apps. I want to create it as a new document. Um, I'm going to find the cover that I want to use. And see, you have all these colors here. I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to copy this page. Once I copy it, I go back to my planner. I'll click on the add. And you can choose where you want to add it. I'm just going to say before for this one because I'm not going to delete the first one. And there it is. You go back, you see we have now changed your cover.